here. You got them? This is the same piece. I just took those other pieces off, and I want to put that face on it. Okay, so we got the plaster. We have our trash right here. What we, one thing you want to remember is do not throw any plaster into the sink. It will clog so our sink. So what we're going to do uh, right now is I want to add the plaster until it creates an island on top. I, there's, you know, you can do measurements. One part this, two parts that. It's much easier just to kind of eyeball it and create an island size. Two thirds of an island, one third water. So I'll show you what that is about. What we're going to do right here is we're going to just take this. Yeah. Same thing. This is just a different, this is different kind of a, this is a, for a design that's inside of, with a clay wall. Yeah. 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 It's going to just slow, and I can let this sit for about five minutes. It's not going to do anything. See how the air is just kind of floating onto there right now? Just shake it up in there. We're just gonna let that sit for a bit and see how that is like two thirds of the island. Let's see how, how much that will go down. Now, the less plaster you use, the, the more coarse the mold becomes, okay? The more plaster you use, the more harder the plaster is and less coarse it becomes, but it, will, it holds up a lot better. So, we're just gonna leave, let that sit there for about five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you what to do with this mold. I got these. Uh, Wooden pieces, like one by five, four, whatever this is, and you cut them down to different strips with these um, eye hooks, metal clamps, okay? And you can just put them down like this, overlap them like this. Uh, we take some wet clay, and we're going to just run along the sides, just like this, to keep it from leaking. Because if, if I go ahead and pour a plaster in right now, guess what? It's going to leak everywhere, and it's going to be one big mess. What's that? You leave your tile wet. You don't. Uh, it's wet because it will be easier to pull out of the mold. If it's if this was, let's say my tile was totally bone dry right now, then I would have to um, after it would come after the plaster was hard, I would put the plaster in a bucket of water and let the pla uh, clay dissolve itself. Okay. Oh. We get a little bit more clay. Oh. <laughs> and it's so easy to make a mess with this stuff, okay? So you got to make sure. I'm going to plug it up. And then on the inside, usually what I, like, what I like to do is try, instead of getting the outside corners, I just take my fingers and go on the inner part, just like that. Like that. Come back around here. The same thing like this. Exactly. But, this, but I like to have this part down here because it keeps the thing from expanding out like that. Because I got the brackets on the top part, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is see the plaster still, it's a chemical reaction that's going to take place with the plasters. And What's going to happen is I'm going to stir it up now, and I'm going to get all the chunks out of here. Let me, let me move this. Can you pull that back? Yeah. Thank you. We're going to stir this all up, get all the chunks out of here. And normally, if I, you know, like letting it sit for two to three minutes helps the water absorb into the chunks, and that way I don't have to stir it up as much. Just stir. It's pretty good. And what's going to happen is that um, by stirring it, you're creating 
a chemical reaction to take place right now. It's going to start. It's going to start firming up, and as and it's going to get clammy, and then it's going to get warm, and then it's going to get hot, and it's going to get real hot. And then it's going to start cooling down. When it starts cooling down, that's when we can start breaking it from its mold. So all I'm going to do is right now is take my glove, peel it off, okay? Take my plaster, grab it, keep on letting it fill up, fill up. That's plenty, okay? So now what we're going to do is bring that trash back over here. Drop it right down in here. Now, if you get plaster in these buckets, take a, some wet paper, clean it out before it gets hard. It's us. We will lose it, okay? So now what we want to do is, is uh, we can do two things. We can bang the table like this, or we can lightly vibrate it like this. This will cause a lot of those air pockets in the eyes and the different crack areas, the air bubbles to come up to the surface and fill, and the plaster will fill into the cracks. But we want to do this a few times. Not only that, it levels it up. Now see, there's a little leakage, but it ain't going to really make a difference because it's not pouring out that much, and by the time it's going to um, seal itself off anyhow because it's going to start firming up pretty soon. So. What's going to happen, we're going to let this stay here for maybe about 40 minutes and um, I will just break the pieces of wood from the sides and move it from the, uh, this masonite board and then start peeling out my clay out of the mold. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So Next week I want you guys to have your you know, drawings, your pieces all done so we can go ahead and make this okay. And um, again, keep them wrapped up here because they're a lot easier to clean up. And we'll, then we still have to clean up the molds once it comes out because there'll be undercuts. We'll have to take a knife too and carve away some of those uh, plays of plastic. So your pieces, then when we put the clay in there, your clay will release a lot easier out of the mold. Okay? Any questions? And basically, this is good for life. I mean, you can make tons of pieces from one mold over and over again. Eventually, they'll wear out, but it takes a long time. All we want to do is cut out. Break this from its seal here. Here it comes. And it comes right out like that. We're gonna pull it, see? Because of the, the mic is hopping, it breaks right off really easy. And in here, this is just gonna break off like this. So all we're going to do is take a knife and clean up our edges. And this is a good time to do it because the uh, plaster is still pretty soft. Uh, in a week from now, this plaster will be a lot harder and it will be a lot harder to do this. Come across here. And then here, again, this clay is soft, so I can just basically take a wooden tool. I don't want to take a metal tool because I'll dig into the plaster, which would not be a good idea. And sometimes you can just grab it and it will peel right out. See? Just like that. And we, want, we don't want to dig too hard down into that because we, will, we can scratch the image because the plaster is soft. See that? Just pull that right out. Okay. And then, uh, with our knife, we cut these, some undercuts that are going on in here. What I like to do is just take my time and work out all the undercuts that might form under here. So when I apply the clay later, uh, there's there going to be nothing here that's going to obstruct the pulling out of the piece. Okay, so this is all undercuts here. So we want to kind of go through here and just take it away until it's until you get a nice line right through here. So like here, this is an undercut here. There's an undercut like in here. You can see that, how it hides itself in there. So again, you want to come in here and work that all out of there, just like that. And 
then next week, uh, we can actually put, roll some clay out, push it down and through here, and we'll be able to pull it out within minutes. Okay, so, all right. So go ahead and pull your pieces out, and uh, we'll see how they work. So how do we do that without destroying the clay piece? Pulling the clay out? Pulling, oh. destroying the clay piece we just made. Uh, carefully. <laughs> carefully. But uh, don't, worry about, don't worry about the first piece because you'll have plenty more to make after your, your mold sets up.